I'm Sean Carruthers and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at taking photographs on the iPhone 4. This episode specifically, we're going to take a look at the flash and the HDR capabilities of the iPhone 4. When you're in camera mode, to change your flash options, click on the lightning bolt icon located in the top left of the screen. You'll have the option of choosing on, off, or auto. If you choose on, the flash will always fire whenever you take a photograph. If you choose off, it'll never fire. If you choose auto, it'll only fire the flash when it thinks it needs it. Then once you've set your flash option, just take your pictures as you would normally and the flash will kick in as you've set it to. The HDR button gives you a different option. This stands for High Dynamic Range. With the HDR button turned on, it'll allow you to see details in both the bright patches and the dark patches, which you wouldn't normally see if you're taking it with HDR off. Once you set HDR to on, when you take a photograph, it'll take two shots in rapid succession with slightly different exposures. Then combines details from both of the photographs to make one picture that shows you details in both the light and dark patches of the image. One of the upsides is that you can shoot great pictures in darker conditions than you normally would using the regular camera function. On the downside, it might look slightly unnatural, and if the subject's in motion while you're taking the photograph, it may cause some weird things as images blur or break in weird locations on the screen. The other thing to remember about HDR photographs is it always saves two shots, the regular shot and then the HDR shot, so it always doubles the amount of memory that you use every time you take a picture. If you're taking pictures in regular conditions, you may want to turn this off to save space on your iPhone. It's also worth remembering that the flash and HDR features aren't available when you're using the front-facing camera, only using the rear-facing camera. So if you don't see it on your screen, that's probably why. That's a look at flash and HDR for the iPhone 4. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you other tips and tricks on shooting photographs with the iPhone 4. And don't forget to check out the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.